assalamu alaikum and uh, very good morning to all of you i hope uh, you had a good day so far and uh, you have rested well so let us uh, share with you this uh, video in which uh, i am going to uh, share uh, some numerical examples in uh, consumer theory in order to do that uh, let me start with the simple cobb douglas production function which is given by uh, u of x y and that is equal to x to the power 0.5 and uh, y to the power 0.5 Uh, let us also assume that uh, the price of x is equal to 0.25 dollars per unit and price of y is equal to 1 dollar per unit and uh, this consumer has uh, money income that is equal to 2 dollars that uh, he will spend on uh, x and y the budget so the budget constraint of this uh, consumer or economic agent is given by 0.25 x plus y that is equal to 2 in order to solve for the utility maximizing values of x and y we may set up lagrangian expression given by uh, this equation and uh, l is equal to x raised the power 0.5 y to the power 0.5 plus lambda into 2 minus 0.25 x minus y this yields the first order conditions for a constant maximum So equation number 1 shows the partial derivative of uh, the lagrangian expression with respect to x equation number 2 is the partial derivative of uh, the lagrangian expression with respect to y and uh, the equation number 3 shows the partial derivative of uh, the lagrangian function with respect to lambda uh, if you divide equation 1.1 by 1.2 we have that y divided by x is equal to 1 by 4 and uh, this implies that the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the goods price so x divided by y is the marginal rate of substitution between x and y so far a constant maximum x and y must obey the relationship that x is equal to 4 for 4y or y is equal to 1/4 of x if we substitute this in the budget constant we get this and uh, we have that uh, 0.25 into 4y plus y is equal to 2 so this means that uh, y star is equal to 1 and uh, we can uh, do that uh, by m divided by 2 py and that is equal to 1 so this is the uh, optimal value of uh, y when the consumer is in equilibrium when he is maximizing his utility and if we substitute this in equation 3 we get x star is equal to 4 so m divided by 2 px that will give us the value of uh, the optimal value of x as 4 so this means that uh, the value of the utility uh, if we put up if we substitute or plug in these values of x star and uh, for as a value of uh, x star in the original utility function uh, we get this and if you solve this we get two so uh, if we uh, if this consumer consumes x and y and he spends the uh, entire budget then uh, this constant maximization gives us the value of u as uh, two so uh, in the equilibrium the consumer maximum utility that he can achieve with this budget constraint is equal to 2 let us discuss indirect utility and we know that the optimal level of x and y are x star given by alpha m divided by price of x and uh, the optimal level of y is uh, equal to beta m divided by price uh, of y respectively substituting these into the utility function gives a maximum utility that is u x star u of x star y star and that is equal to x star raised to 0.5 and y star raised to 0.5 and uh, if we uh, uh, plug here instead of x star we use m divided by 2 px and instead of uh, y star we use uh, m divided by 2 py raised to the power 0.5 and this is also raised to the power 0.5 so if we solve this we get m over 2 px raised 
to 0.5 and py raised to 0.5 so this is basically the uh, so with the money income equal to 2 price of x equal to 0.25 and the price of y equal to 1 equation 5 shows that maximum utility that can be directly computed as follows so this is the maximum utility that i already showed and this is the explanation so the indirect utility function in this case is v of px pm py and m and uh, that is equal to 2 divided by 2 into 0 0.25 raised to power 0 0.5 and 1 raised to power 0 0.5 and that is finally uh, the indirect utility uh, we can by solving this we get that the maximum amount of utility that this consumer can uh, get or attain is equal to 2. Uh, let us also discuss uh, uh, expenditure function numerically rearranging again to x and y the agent's dual problem is to minimize uh, the expenditure and uh, e stands for expenditure and uh, this is the uh, consumer expenditure on commodity x and this is the uh, expenditure of uh, the economic agent or consumer on uh, y commodity and uh, uh, this agent now wants to minimize his uh, total expenditure on x and y subject to uh, some target utility, utility that is equal to u bar and u bar is equal to x to the power 0 0.5 y to the 0 0.5 so again here u bar is the utility target as i mentioned earlier in order to solve this uh, uh, agent minimization problem subject to utility constraint we set up the lagrangian expression and that is given by l that is equal to uh, px times x price of y times y plus lambda into u bar that is the target utility uh, utility target minus x raised to 0 0.5 y raised to 0 0.5 again the first target conditions are that if you take the partial derivative of uh, Lagrangian function with respect to x we get equation 8.1 similarly at equation 8.2 shows the partial derivative of uh, L with respect to y and uh, 8.3 equation shows the partial derivative of Lagrangian function with respect to lambda uh, again dividing uh, equation 8.2 by 8.1 and rearranging we get that the ratio of price uh, of y and price of x is given by uh, this uh, uh, this ratio and that is equal to x divided by y so uh, we can rearrange this and uh, we can write uh, price of x times x is equal to price of y times y so this means that the total expenditure on uh, x commodity is equal to total expenditure on uh, uh, y commodity and this is uh, uh, evident from these uh, exponent because this means uh, that 50 percent of the income uh, are uh, um, is uh, spent on x and 50 percent of the expenditure on spent on uh, y commodity so this uh, uh, precisely is the same uh, first order condition we had earlier and substitution substituting this equation into the expenditure function which is given by this equation equation number seven that yields that uh, e is equal to px times x star plus py y star and that is equal to two uh, price of x times x star where x star is the optimal uh, value of uh, uh, x good and y star is the optimal value of uh, y good so x star is equal to e raised to the uh, e divided by 2 price of x so this is the solution value of x star and uh, similarly the optimal value of y is uh, given by e divided by uh, 2 uh, price of uh, y sorry this is not y x this is price of y and uh, these are exactly the same that we found earlier but the utility target requires 
that u star is equal to x star raised the power 0.5 and y star raised the power 0.5. So, uh, utility target is equal to instead of x star, uh, we use uh, this e divided by 2 times price of x raised to the power 0.5 times e divided by 2 times price of y whole raised to the power 0.5. So, this implies that e is equal to 2 uh, u, u bar uh, price of x raised to the power 0 0.5 and price of y raised to the power 0 0.5 and this is the uh, um, expenditure function. So, we have this function as the minimum expenditure necessary to reach the utility target given by u bar. Uh, if as before u bar is equal to 2 price of x is price of x is equal to 0 0.25 and price of y is equal to 1, we have the required expenditure of uh, 2. So, we we saw that uh, in both cases, in a utility maximization case and the expenditure minimization case, m was equal to 2, e is also equal to 2 and uh, u bar uh, was uh, e equal to 2. So, this is how we can use a numerical uh, example uh, using utility function, Cobb Douglas utility function. Uh, now, you, you may note that uh, this was the original value for income with which we stated this problem. So, that is why we call this uh, duality in uh, consumer theory. We know that this level of income is indeed just sufficient to attain a utility level of 2. Of course, the expenditure function in equation 15 shows that a higher utility target will require higher expenditure. So, if we increase this utility target, then expenditure will also increase. Similarly, if the prices of x and y, uh, uh, if price of x and price of y will increase, this would also require great expenditure or higher expenditure uh, for attaining a given, le uh, given uh, level of utility target. Let us now discuss the constant elasticity of substitution demand. In order to illustrate cases in which the budget shares are responsive to economic circumstances, uh, we may look at three uh, different examples of the uh, constant elasticity of substitution function. So, we start with the case 1 in which uh, the uh, sigma is equal to 0. Uh, 5. In this case, utility is given by this function uh, where u of x y is equal to x to the power 0 0.5 plus y raised to the power 0 0.5. Now, the only one difference between this utility function and the Cobb Douglas utility function is that uh, the Cobb Douglas utility function is a uh, multiplicative, where this utility function is additive in which we add. So, let us uh, set up the Lagrangian expression for this uh, utility function. Uh, so, we have this equation that is 18. So, L is equal to x raised to the power 0 0.5 plus y raised to the power 0 0.5 plus lambda into m minus price of x times x minus price of y times y. So, m is the consumer's budget or uh, consumer uh, money income. And this will yield the first order conditions for uh, a constant maximum again. If you take the partial derivative of uh, this Lagrangian expression with respect to x, we get 0 0.5 x raised to the power minus 0 0.5 minus lambda price of x is equal to 0. Similarly, uh, uh, equation 18.2 shows the partial derivative of a Lagrangian with respect to y and the equation 18.3 shows the partial derivative of the Lagrangian uh, expression with respect to lambda and that gives us the budget constraint that m minus price of x times x minus price, price of y times y is equal to 0. Now, division of the first two of these equations shows that uh, x divided by uh, y divided by x raised to the power 0 0.5 is equal to the price ratio of x and y. And by substituting this into the budget constraint and doing some messy algebraic manipulation, that messy algebraic manipulation is very difficult. 
so I ignored to do that here. So we can derive the demand functions associated with this utility function as follows. So here x star is uh, given by i. This this is this i is equal to m. This is income, the consumer budget, divided by price of x into one plus p x divided by p y. So this is a uh, uh, the demand function associated with this utility function and this is the demand function for y associated with this utility function uh, the demand for x is uh, so responsive to its own price that arise in the price reduces total uh, spending on x uh, that the demand for x is very price responsive can also be illustrated by comparing the implied exponent on uh, px in the demand function in case of Cobb Douglas utility function given by equation 4.32 and equation 4.23, uh, uh, where the, uh, the coefficient is minus 2 in the equation 4.32, and uh, for this it is a uh, uh, minus 1. Now we take the uh, second case where lambda, uh, sorry, this uh, sigma is equal to minus 1. So let's look at the demand function with the uh, substitutability. Then the Cobb Douglas, uh, if sigma is minus 1, then the utility function is given by uh, this utility function u of xy is equal to minus x raised to the power minus 1 minus y raised to the power minus 1. And it is easy to show that the first order conditions for a maximum requires y divided by x is equal to price of x divided by price of y whole raised to the power 0 0.5. Again, substitution of this condition into the budget constant together with some uh, difficult algebraic manipulation yields the demand functions given by uh, these two equations that is equation number 24 and 25 where x star is uh, uh, equal to money income m r i divided by price of x uh, into 1 plus p y p x raised to the power 0 0.5 so x star and y star are the uh, demand function for uh, x and y uh, that the demand function in uh, these two equation uh, that is 24 and 25 are less price responsive than the Cobb Douglas and that is illustrated by relatively small exponent of each good here uh, exponent uh, are uh, 0 0.5 but uh, for own price this will be uh, minus 0 0.5 because this is in the uh, denominator so here the uh, this will be less responsive less price responsive these uh, demand function will be for x and y will be uh, less price responsive because their own uh, price component are minus 0 0.5. Uh, this is the third case in which uh, sigma is equal to minus infinity. This is one of the most important cases in which x and y must be consumed in fixed proportion. Assume for example that each unit of y must be consumed together with exactly <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Excuse me. Assume that, uh, for example, each unit of y must be consumed together with exactly four units of uh, x. The utility function that represents this situation is uh, given by u of x y, which is equal to minimum of uh, x and four y. In this situation, a utility maximizing person will choose only combinations of the two goods for which x is equal to four y. That is, utility maximization implies that this person will choose to be at vertex of uh, his or her <coughs> L-shaped in different car in different curves. If you substitute this condition into the budget constant, it will yield equation 27, 28, and uh, 29. So this is equation number 27. This is equation 28, and this is uh, 29. In this case, the share of the of a person's budget which is devoted to, to say good x rises rapidly as price of x increases 
because x and y must be consumed in fixed proportion we would predict that x star is equal to 4 y star is equal to 1 and as before half of the individual's income would be spent on each good the analysis suggests that the share of income devoted to good x approaches 1 as price of x increases uh in case 3 we assume that uh, sigma is equal to minus uh, lambda we found that x star is equal to uh, m r i divided by price of x plus 0.25 price of i and for y star we have i divided by 4 price of x plus py and these two equation i is equal to m so the indirect utility function in this case is given by v price of x uh, price of y m and that is equal to minimum of uh, x star 4 y star and that is equal to x star is equal to m divided by price of x plus 0.25 price of y similarly 4 y star is equal to 4 divided by 4 price of x plus price of y and that gives us m divided by price of x plus 0.25 price of y with price of x equal to 0.25 and price of y equal to dollar 1 and money income equal to 2 the indirect utility is given by v and that is equal to 4 which is what we calculated before ladies and gentlemen this uh, is how we can uh, uh, manipulate uh, the cobb douglas production function including uh, cobb douglas and uh, uh, constant elasticity of substitution utility function and uh, how can we analyze marshallian demand in both in, in both case and the indirect utility function and the expenditure function uh, in case of uh, cobb douglas utility function and in case of uh, constant elasticity of substitution hope you like this and this is informative for you uh, kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you could uh, get regular notifications about my other videos that i'll upload for you thanks for watching this uh, video kindly subscribe to the channel and share its various videos in uh, various whatsapp groups so that this could reach to the maximum possible number of people thank you and uh, see you in another uh,